So what would the offspring of Princess Leia and Elwood Blues have turned out like? <laughs> uh, funny, uh, quick, spiritual, haunted, pursued, talented, acerbic, autodidactic, deviant, manic, genius, uh, tech, motor, device, engine, and music savvy. In other words, we would have had Todd Fisher. Tonight on a special edition of 2020, brother and son Todd there at the end, speaking only to 2020. The soon-to-be-released HBO documentary Bright Lights chronicles their tempestuous relationship. You cannot keep that phone. It's ridiculous. For those of you who saw the HBO special Bright Lights, that is an amazing legacy piece, truly, in their own words, seeing them in their natural habitat. You get to experience what I've had to deal with my entire life. <laughs> she said, you know, I, I, I really love Carrie. Yeah. And then she said, I really want to be with Carrie. Then she closed her eyes and she fell asleep. It's horrible, it's beautiful, it's magical. They're together. It's just, it's beyond words, it's beyond understanding, but I saw it and it is what it is. You can't deny it. It, it is what it is. Honest to goodness I do. Both my mother and sister were inspiring, strong women, and they empower women to go out and do the things that they want to do and to dream do come true. You can do the things you dream. My mother put that in Carrie. That didn't just get there through George Lucas. That came from, from Debbie, from Molly Brown, long before we figured out who Princess Leia was. But thank God, Debbie pre-programmed her, Luke, Lucas massaged her, and now look what you've got. Somebody has to save our skins. I was with Carrie when we first went to the Star Wars screening. She thought it was a B movie because she was just in front of a green screen or blue screen in those days. That ship flew over. I looked at her and I said, this is no B movie. And her life was never the same. really, really tough to handle at times, and my mother was amazing. You think Carrie's making a, oh, a scene sure, up there? <laughs> I'm sure they're all... I mean, initially, she was there for a while on her own. I'm, I'm almost thinking maybe God had a little chat with Mom and said, get up here and give us a hand. I have two moods. Roy is rollicking Roy. The wild ride of a mood. Pam is sediment Pam, who stands on the shore and sobs. One mood is the meal, the next mood, the check. I knew something was the matter with me. I went too fast, I was too much, and I was embarrassed of it. The drugs I liked were painkillers. They calmed me down. I, I just couldn't, I did, couldn't handle it. I didn't know what it was. Manic depressive is a disease. Now, that was not diagnosed then. So nobody kind of knew what was going on with Carrie. When it, she was 13, her personality changed. So it's a constant battle. It takes all of us to assure her that she's loved, and that won't get her. It wasn't ever enough. You could never give her enough attention, enough love. The medication leveled her out. The doctors helped enormously, but without the support of the families, uh, I, it's not enough. It, it, takes, it takes a group effort. It takes an enormous effort to bring these people through this disorder. But Carrie didn't just get through her disorder. She lived large. She accomplished amazing things. And that should be an inspiration to all of us, especially people suffering with bipolar disorder to look at Carrie and understand how much you can do in life. There's nothing more that can be said and nobody better to say it than Carrie. Every bit of Carrie's life, every problem Carrie ever had is in writing and, and in beautiful words that are beyond deep, beyond profound. The frankness and level to which she has exposed herself in life is, is truly remarkable. I have to mention my sister because, you know, she was also an amazing person, but 
she fulfilled herself in so many different ways as a writer. And again, how do you inspire children to do that? And I listened to Nancy a minute ago say that she, she was talking about one of those teachers who said he's inspiring. And, and that is truly the greatest gift that a teacher can give, is to inspire people to move on and to learn their craft and to create great art. And so my mother lived her life that way. She was the most giving, wonderful person. She would give you the shirt off her back and uh, sometimes involuntarily, in the case of some of the ex-husbands. <laughs> but she would want to be remembered, obviously, as this great, strong person, as an inspiration to others, not so much as a great entertainer. She was most proud of just watching you know, her children, and she lived a very beautiful, inspiring life. It, was, it is a life that one could model after. Their life is high-class stuff. And these were high-class broads, very high-class. And so they deserve to be remembered and discussed in this fashion. So I would encourage people that think there's no hope or think that you can't get through this to take a close look at Carrie and what she was able to do. And hopefully you'll find the support that you need through your doctors and your family that will allow you to excel in life the way that she did. everybody i just want to make sure we're on i think we are hello and happy friday what a what a week it went by like a like a shot honestly it was a great week and i had the uh, you know let me just say this a great birthday it it wasn't typical todd and i usually celebrate our birthdays together even though they're you know a couple of weeks apart not quite actually 10 days or 11 days apart and 13 days apart. 13 days apart and we usually have a big party and all that and I was like all sad because we weren't going to be able to do that this year but when this is over we will but in spite of all that I had an amazing birthday it's the first time I think I didn't like have a party well we had a small party we did and uh, so I got and see what I got what I is got what is the crystal ball telling you about Okay, well, first of all, I just want to say that I have had nothing to do with tonight's show. So I don't have a script in front of me. Not a script like that you there, memorize, but Ryan always... There. Where? Right there. No. You, it's in your ball. It's... Oh. Look in the ball. All right. So tonight's show, I predict, will be a, some something special. Because you and Ryan made this show, but it's really weird for me not to have... Not to have a piece of paper in front of me that's just kind of like a, a guideline. Give her a piece of paper. Just uh, any piece of paper, just so she feels better. I, <laughs> I, no, I no, really, I, I'm fine. Just bring her a blank sheet of paper. No, I'm good. Look what I've got. I've got this in front of me, and it's got per every, I, as there much as I know is on it. That, perfect. Th there you so go. So you do have a, well, we, I wanted you to have paper, though. Okay, you, you act like so this is, this is Todd's show and Ryan's show. Not exactly. And I, and what's, ha what's happened is... Um, First of all, I'm you, going in. You, a lot of people wanted to be with you on your birthday. I want to be with them too. But you, uh, we didn't have a show uh, on that day, correct? So we came up with, uh, uh, we've chatted with some of your pals. Yeah. Seth Robichaux. Seth, <laughs> little Barbara I Hammond. Love, oh Barbara. And a lot of those people took it upon themselves to. Frank Make. Florucho says no sound, but I don't know if that's now. Is everyone else getting sound? Give me a thumbs up. Everybody's good? Okay. John, do you have meters on the pic? <laughs> <laughs> Tammy Wilson. Oh, no, Kat, you're in trouble now. I, I know. Believe me, I'm not used to, like, just letting people take well, things So over. here's what's basically going to happen. Okay. We have messages from some of your friends. Okay. And it's all been put together in a compilation. Oh, no. And it's going to be right here on this screen right oh. here. Oh, when did you do that? So, so uh, well, it wasn't just me. And, oh, well, uh, there Ryan. Was, there's lots of people involved in oh. this. I mentioned Seth. I mentioned that you had uh, Barbara Hammond. And yes. Seth and, so there's been a concerted effort by your fan club. <laughs> oh, that's so silly. 
<laughs> You're just ridiculous. I am not. So it okay. all begins right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to use that shot of you with the monitor. Okay. And then when the people are talking, we'll go close on the monitor. All right. And then we'll come back to the two shots so you understand what's going on. So we're going to just take off and uh, see what happens here. Oh. Happy birthday, Kat. I hope you have the best birthday ever. And as my best friend and I do every year for our birthdays, I'm going to sing to you a la Bill Murray when he was on Saturday Night Live and sang to a dollar bill. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, father of our country, or in this case, Kat. Happy birthday to you. Go on, get out of here. I love you. And I do love you, Kat. I am so thankful we met all those years ago at Super Soap Weekend and then at the One Life to Live luncheons. But I really got to know you at Get Your Fire Back. What a fun time that was. Thank you so much for that. I hope I can see you again soon. It's been three years almost since I've seen you. We went to see Michael Jackson 1 for your birthday. And then I also met Davy Johnstone, Elton John's guitarist, that same weekend. So you have a wonderful weekend, and someone here also wants to say happy birthday to you. Skippy. Say it, Skippy. Oh, happy birthday, Cat. Happy birthday, Cat. Love you so much. Thank you so that you've done for all of us, and have a great day. Hi, Cat. It's Barb Kevin. I just wanted to say happy birthday, oh, and thank you for helping me with my anxiety issues and sleep issues, and just say I love you. Again, happy birthday. Bye. Ah. <laughs> happy birthday, Kat. We love you. This is Laura Terrell and my daughter, Rebecca Terrell from Putnam, Connecticut. I hope your birthday is the most amazing, beautiful, and blessed day you ever could have. We love you, and I just praying nothing but the best for you. And I am so glad you're doing so much better. Bye. Hi, Kat. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Me and Kit here coming out and saying happy birthday at the Hollywood Museum here in Las Vegas. Enjoy your birthday. Hi, Kat. I just wanted to say happy birthday. I hope you have the best day ever. I wanted to thank you for all that you are and all that you do for everybody. You are, you are amazing. I love you. Happy birthday. Hello, Kat. It's Sasha. Здравствуйте. С днём рождения, красотка. Я желаю успеха и радости. Your translation. Happy birthday, and I wish you uh, success and joy, and I hope you have a great birthday. And we'll see you when we see you on Facebook Live. Kat, as my birthday greeting to you, I'd like to say an excerpt from a poem by Jane Eyres, and it's an ode to those of us who were born in the 1940s or the 1950s. They'll never know the things we did before we got this old. There wasn't any Facebook, so not everything was told. We may seem like sweet older ladies who would never be uncouth, but we were raised in the 60s. Not everyone knows the truth. There was sex and drugs and rock and roll, the pill and miniskirts. We drank, we smoked, we partied and we were outrageous flirts. Then we settled down, got married and our lives were full. But never underestimate a girl in her 60s because she will take no bull. 
Kat, wishing you a very, very happy 65th birthday to the most beautiful and the youngest 65-year-old I know. Love you heaps. Bye. Here with my girl, we just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Um, we hope you're feeling good. We know you've had a rough couple of weeks, um, but we just want you to know that we love you. We are praying for you, and we are sure you're being treated like the queen that you are at the Fisher Compound. Um, so yeah, so we just uh, wish you all the best, and we hope you're having a wonderful day. Do you want to say happy birthday to Cat? No. No, I'm so sorry, Cash. She's not like her father. She's not very photogenic. Okay, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Cat, from Tammy Anastasia. I just wanted to say you have made such a difference in my life this year, and I cannot thank you enough for being amazing. <laughs> You're so genuine, loving, caring, kind, beautiful, smart, talented generous funny i mean the list just goes on and on i am eternally grateful and so thankful that i've gotten to know you this year you've just made such a difference with creating the facebook group and having a safe space for so many people to gather and look forward to talking to you and todd we just loved being with you and spending time and meeting that this year of all years but i just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart and wish you the most amazing birthday because you deserve it more than anyone you are truly an angel on earth i've said that long before i knew that your home was called heaven on earth because i said it's appropriate that you are an angel on earth and i can't say enough about how much i love you and i thank you and wish you the most wonderful birthday Hi, Kat. It's Hi. Delton and Julie Gingrich from Florida here to wish you a very happy birthday. Yes. Um, first of all, we just want to say how much we have enjoyed the Cat and Todd live shows during coronavirus. Thank yes, you for have. spending all that time with us. It was like yes. a highlight for us in the evenings to listen to you guys talk about different, different subjects and stuff. We love that. And I just want to also say um, thank you so much for being the light in this world. You're, you just are so generous and loving and full of joy and always so upbeat. And that really inspires me to want to be a better person. And yeah. I thank you for that. Yes. And if I ever get back, if we ever get back to Vegas, we're definitely looking you up. So yep. um, sure. hope that happens someday soon. And hope you have the best birthday ever. We yes. love you and yes. can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kat. This is your friend, Tammy Wilson. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday on the 11th. And I want to sing you happy birthday in true Carrie Fisher form. Happy and many more. Now you know why I was never a famous singer. Anyway, I also wanted to let you know that I'm wearing my swingers in your honor and all my cat cosmetics. So again, happy birthday, and we'll be seeing you soon. Hello, Catherine. It's Lisa Eaton. I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Thanks to you and Todd for bringing us all together letting me meet all these wonderful people, all your support, your encouragement, your la laughing, and your incredible generosity. You deserve every accolade coming your way. People like you are such a blessing that only comes once in a lifetime. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day. And on that note, I will say, Hi. Hey, Kat. So... Debbie Jackson here. I really didn't think that I would send you a video like this, but I've got FOMO and I did not want to miss your birthday. I can't believe they got Broadway Cares on your birthday. That is so phenomenal and you're singing on it and hopefully I won't be too sick so I'll be able to tune in. If not, 
I'm sure I'll be able to watch it after. But I like live stuff. Anyway, I can't talk very much with the pneumonia and the COVID and the bacterial lung infection. And I look God awful. But I want you to know, lady, between you and my mother, you're the only people that I would do this for because I know that you're not the only one going to see it. So, but here goes. I love you cats so much. You, I love to see you smile. I love to hear Todd saying yo-ho. I love all our family. I miss everything and everybody. I'm so sorry about you all. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get out of here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cat. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Okay, then we got to do happy, no, hippie, hippo, <laughs> hippo. Happy, hippie, birthday. That's not right, but that's just what my mind is coming up with. And I'm going to end it off with ha I love you, sweet woman, so much. And I can't wait till I can come and give you a big, huge hug. You and Todd adore Ryan, Brianna. John, I just can't wait till I can do that at the lodge. And I'm hoping it won't be too long from now. God bless you, my dear, dear sister. Try to stay as safe as you can. Try to be as healthy as you can. And God forbid, whatever you do, do not get this COVID-19. I love you. Hello, cat. Surprise. Happy birthday. This is Julie Golden. And um, I want to wish you a very healthy and happy birthday and many more to come. Um, today's a big day for you. And I wanted to say that you've come a long way in recovering. And I wanted to let you know that I hope that um, that you that you stay well, and I hope that I want you to know that we all all will be here for you to support you in any way we can, and we just want you to know that we'll keep praying for you until you completely heal, and um, I just. And, oh, I would love to meet you in person so very much. And I hope that dream will come true one day. And I hope, um, I hope all your wishes and dreams keep coming true. And may God bless you. I love you so very much. And happy birthday and many more to come. Bye-bye. Hey, Kat. Wanted to wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. I hope you're having an amazing day and just feeling the love from all of us out here to you. Um, and wanted to say thank you so, so much for opening up and having those lives for all of us to come and chat with you and connect with each other. And has given so many of us something so hopeful in this whole this past year has just been lacking in that and you've brought that to us along with your wonderful personality and your the positivity that just shines out of you I cannot thank you enough for how much you have honestly helped and saved me and my sanity and my moods this entire year so have an amazing day we all love you so much and happy birthday Hi, Kat. 
Hello. Happy birthday, Brett here with John. Happy birthday. All the way from Australia. Have a fantastic birthday. Sending all our best to you. Big hugs and kisses. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kat. Hope you have a great day. I really hope I get to meet you someday. That would be really, really awesome. Anyways, talk to you later. Hi, Kat. About 10 years ago when my husband passed away, I learned a hard lesson in what isolation can do to us and our minds if we allow ourselves to go down a rabbit hole into a really dark place. So when we went into quarantine almost a year ago, which is so hard to believe, I wanted to make sure I found ways to keep myself from going back to that dark place. And on Facebook, you indicated you were doing a live show, and I thought that would be a wonderful thing to try. I came to your first show, and with the exception of maybe two shows, I've been to every show since, and I've enjoyed every single minute of it. I, um, it, Of course, it's entertaining, but I think it's more than that. I think it's that, that you and Todd bring your authentic selves to that show every time you're there, which doesn't always happen with people in your positions and we're all so appreciative for it and you can't bring across a message especially when you do your single shows and we delve into these kinds of issues the message that we can choose happiness and we can choose joy and that if we just recognize that we are enough and that those things don't come from outside of us but that we find them deep within ourselves um, we can weather these difficult times so much better. And I love you so much for reinforcing those beliefs in me. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. I am so sad that you have to go through it with a broken wing, but I know that if anyone can heal, it's Katherine Hicklin. Love you. Hi, Kat. Kathy Hobbs asked me to read this beautiful poem that she wrote to you for your birthday. Happy birthday to a very special woman. You will do everything that you can to make things easier for those that are in need, whether it be in word or in deed. You will always show how much you care. If someone hurts your friends, they'd better beware, for you will always put up a good fight and stand up for your friends with all of your might. Your special love for animals is easily seen. The bond that you share with them is oh so keen. Your beauty shows both inside and out. This is what all of life should be about. We are so blessed to have you as a friend. We really enjoy the time we get to spend with you and Todd in the room on those special nights. You bring to each of our lives a much needed light. May your birthday be as special as you are and always know that you have all of our love and care. Love, Kathy Hobbs. Hi, Catherine, it's Deb. Tyler, just wanted to say happy birthday. Hope you have a great day, day as wonderful as you are. And I wanted to um, thank you for all your kindness and friendship and entertainment and generosity over the last couple of years. And um, I hope you have a spectacular birthday. And my mother wanted to make sure that I thanked you again for the video that you made for her. Um, it really touched her heart. She she just thought that was wonderful. You shared uh, a little bit about Debbie, and it it lifted her spirits so much. And so I thank you also for that. So anyway, happy birthday. Have a great day. Hello, my beautiful friend. Happy birthday. I wish I was there to celebrate with you, but as you can see... That's happening soon. And thank you for playing your magical part in that. Uh, I have such magical friends, and you are certainly one of them. You are humble, you are kind, you are thoughtful and loving, and you are a beacon. I've said this, I can't tell you how many times, a beacon for so many. And I'm just lucky and blessed to have you in my life. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cat. 
Happy birthday to you. I love you. I can't wait to see you. I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And I would like to read you a birthday poem I wrote for you. Kath, you've given so much of your time all year. To me and so many, we hold you so dear. Your wit and your charm has kept us attuned. No one else could have done this, and thank God for Zoom. With your grace, beauty, and glamour too, you bring insight to us from you. On this day you were born, the angels did sing. And now we wish you a happy, happy birthday and the best of everything. Happy birthday, Kat. We love you. I'm here to wish you a happy birthday. Um, Suki over here got it all dressed up. She wanted to sit still, so I had to give her a treat. Um, wishing you a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kat. Can't wait to uh, spend some time with you. Uh, it just seems like uh, this pandemic uh, is going to keep us uh, grounded for a while. I've really been enjoying the um, Todd, uh, Cat and Todd shows that you've been putting on. And uh, just wishing you all the best. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. I wish you all good things for your birthday and every day. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. And I appreciate your two autographs that you sent me and the cool cat Donna. God bless you. Hey, cat. Just little Miss Beth. Popping in to say hap. I hope you have the best birthday year yet. Have a great day. Much love to you from myself, my hubby Joe, and our kitty cat, Sunshine Tiger. Happy birthday, cat. We love you. We hope you have the best day ever. Thank you for all that you do for everyone. It's been so wonderful spending uh, the COVID with you and Todd. Again, happy birthday. We love you. Have a great Air day. Hug. Air hug. Hey, Kat, this is Philip. I just wanted to wish you a wonderful birthday. I hope you get everything you ever wanted and all the love and support from all of us and your friends. Happy birthday. Today, you. I celebrate you, Kat. You are a ray of sunshine that brightens up this world and such an inspiration and so uplifting and generous with your time and your talents. Keep on spreading that positivity into this world. I love you and I send you my best wishes for a very happy birthday, surrounded by your loved ones and by your beautiful critters there at Heaven on Earth Lodge. Stay well and I'll see you soon. Happy birthday, girl. Hey, Kat. Seth here and I just wanted to wish you a hippo birthday and uh, sing a little hop to you. <laughs> and I hope you're having a happy birthday. You deserve it so, so much. I'm so grateful for having you in my life. You have been such a, a inspiration, a mentor, and most of all, a friend to me. And I'm so blessed to have your presence in my life. You know, you hold a special place in my heart as does Todd and Dora and Ryan, you all do. Um, I, I really couldn't have gotten through 2020 if it was not for you. So I thank you for that. You've, you've really gotten me through some hard times this past year and I'm so eternally grateful for that and for you and for your friendship. And I wish you the most wonderful birthday that God could ever give you because you truly deserve it. You have done so much for so many of us and I'm, I think I speak on all of our parts when I say we are so grateful for you and we are so blessed to have you and I love you so, so much. So I hope you have a wonderful birthday and I love you. And I hope it's the hippoest, happiest bird day. I love you, Kat. Happy birthday, Kat. I hope your blessings are more than you can count. I love you. My family loves you. We are all sending hugs, prayers, and best wishes for a blessed birthday. Mwah. And now, as you continue to watch the watch, go back and forth. Take a deep breath. Exhale, listening to the sound of my voice. 
Feel all that love surrounding you? Like a flock of chickens or a six-foot emu. And as you do, you feel yourself getting happier and healthier, feeling so good in so many ways. Taking another deep breath, and this time realizing how much you are loved and all the birthday wishes that are flowing onto you from around the world. You are loved, my friend. You are loved. And you are loved, my friend Catherine Hicklin. You are loved and wished happy birthday from around the world. Please deeply feel the special birthday wishes and love I send you from me. I love you, sister. Wish I was there. Happy, happy birthday to one of my very best pals in the whole world. Uh, you know I was supposed to be there visiting with you this week, but I look forward to being there and celebrating with you next month. Um, as you know, we go well back to 15 years ago or longer, well over 15 years to the New York City days when uh, I'd help you out at West End with the Christmas parties. And do you remember that one time I even gave a speech on your behalf when we christened the Catherine Hickland Room? Uh, that was a while ago. But you've been to the school so many times for shows and visits uh, and the fun we've had on the road over the years. I mean, wow. I have loved warming up the audience for you and I really hope that we can do that again sometime soon. But from the El Portal to the auction to our adventures with Linda and on the cruise ship meeting the uh, child stars, you have been one of the most loyal and trustworthy people in my life. And uh, I really look forward to celebrating with you uh, when I see you in person. Have a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. I send lots of love. Always, always will. Love you. Bye. Oh my God. I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a mess. That was beautiful. And everybody, and it looks so beautiful. And I pulled out one of your mom's um your mom used to call me on my birthday wherever I was and sing happy birthday birthday to my voice messages and so I I found one of them this yesterday to play it you know because I miss her being here but I don't know if I'm gonna recover this I just want to know first of all thank you everybody because you have no idea how much that means to me, and that's a lot of work <laughs> that went into that. I have to pull myself together a little bit, so you're all so beautiful. Everybody was just made up and and looked so angelic to me, you know. Um, Barb Cavern, you look great. I haven't seen you in a long time, and I'm seeing all of you, you know, and, and Philip, you look so great in that eyeshadow. <laughs> I just got eyeshadow envy. It was beautiful. I, it was had like sparkles in it. And Seth, you're looking more and more like me every day. So I, I just really love. He it. likes that rich lip gloss. He does, and and I love it on him. So you know, but I'm just overwhelmed in a in a in a not overwhelmed. I'm whelmed. That's a great word, isn't it? I'm whelmed in a beautiful beautiful well, way so I want to know how this got put together because so it was it was Seth of course and and uh, Barbara Hammond oh. and, and of course you know Ryan was a big deal but the, the everybody worked hard to coordinate and get everybody online and find all the parts and pieces yeah but it, it I mean it, it's this now this is the best birthday I've ever had so I was ever. trying to throw you off by opening the show like completely like, that's why I put that thing that had nothing to do with it on the air. <laughs> I didn't know what you were going to put up there, but I was Well, you kept saying all day long, what's the opening? What's the opening? 
What's the opening? <laughs> because What's I am opening? not used to being. Uh, out where's of my list? Of where's where's yeah. the list? Ryan didn't send me a. Do you have a set list? Where's the paper? Where's my paper? <laughs> do you have my paper? I don't have a paper. Well, I I honestly just have no idea what that means to me to be able to see you all at a video. It, it, it's even better than Zoom because, you know, you all, oh, Maria, you, you were, I don't know what light you had on you, but I want to know because you looked absolutely beautiful and well, your you makeup know, did the, too. The Everybody the just theme, looked so beautiful. If you think about it, the, the theme, whether on purpose or accident, yeah. is, is, you know, the love that people have. Yes. You know, for this group, yes. for you and the group. Yes. And uh, while that was going on, it made me think of this song my mother sang on an ABC television special called With a Little Love. Mm -hmm. It's an original song, and it also happens to be my first role on television and Carrie's first role on television. Aww. We're like 10 years old. I've never seen it. You've never seen it. Uh -uh. It was called The Sound of Children, but it's called With a Little Love, and, it, and I... I brought that clip because I thought it goes with everything that's happened. It might and give then you when you come back from that, I'll be a complete It might give you a, floor. I'm trying to give you a <laughs> but, breather. Oh, I, I just but love I wanted, that so much. But you I, guys are going to love this song because this is Debbie participating in that love fest that just went on here. Yeah, well, Although that, she did that at was the very amazing. End. But uh, anyway, this, so when at the very end, Carrie comes on and you, if you even recognize her, I'm one of the Cub Scouts. And of course, we have to sing with my mother. Uh, so have fun. And this, you know, this song, when I pulled this song out days ago, it's freaking catchy. I, I, I cannot get it out of my mind. Right. I, I, it's one of those songs. And it's, uh, it says something when you have a great song that it's, it's catchy. But the, keep in mind, this is late 60s. So, you know, you'll, we were talking about 60s child. Have fun watching this. Oh, this is great. Watch this. You'll like it. <laughs> Joe, anybody know what I have in here? Hmm? No. Well, guess. An elephant. An elephant. Elephants are this big. He just made a tiny elephant. <laughs> well, it's not an elephant, but I'm going to show you what it is. Now, want to see? Here you are. It's, it's nothing. nothing. Nothing? What do you mean it's nothing? It's a present. You can't see it and you can't touch it, but you can feel it, and it's the most valuable present I can give to you. Here, you take it. Oh, don't drop it. I what don't is see anything. anything. What is it? It's a secret. Anything. It's a secret known to Friday's child. For children young and old. And it says that what you give away is what you really hold. So follow any Friday's child and turn the golden key. Just give away some love. Here's the best part. Here's the secret. Give a little love. You can never give too much. Just give a little love to everything you touch. If you give a little love, it is wonderful and true. The love you give away will soon come back to you. For instance, love a flower, love a flower, and watch it bloom. When it blooms, a perfume fills the air. Then you breathe it in and feel so full of 
love that you've suddenly got a share of what you gave away back there. So give a little love, just give a little love on every little street, on every little street. Just give a little love, just give a little love to everyone you meet, to everyone you meet. If you give a little love, if you give a little love, it is wonderful and true. It is wonderful. All the love you give away, all the love you give away, will soon come back to you. Go ahead and try it. Margie's daughter, Elisa.
girl that just spoke in the left in the balloons. That is Margie's daughter. That is Elisa, Elisa Tomasino, who I just saw her in the room a little bit ago. She's let's, our. Let's she's, bring her up she here. She grew up with um, Todd. There she is. Number two. That <laughs> Elisa. That how and and then of course Carrie. Look how. Uh, I and, mean, it's and hilarious, then, right? And, is that May Quigley? Next? May Quigley on the left. Yeah. And, oh my gosh, that is so cute. And you know, it's funny also. And you are the cutest Boy Scout. Well, a Cub Scout. Cub but, Scout. Uh, and you still, Scout. you still I have, still have that, every, that outfit. And those are my actual merit badges and things. Those are not, that's oh, not really. I a, have no doubt that you have merit badges, but I found your Cub Scout I that the, one. I had the when, uniform. Yeah, I, it's it, at, the when, at the ranch. Yeah, I found it in a box. I remember I was going through I'll tell some you boxes. something else kind of funny. And it's like this big. It was so that, tiny. That it is. So this <laughs> is John Courtney uh, also. He's, and, uh, of, and of course. There he is right there. That's John Courtney. He was my best friend at the time, and he got roped into this. So everybody <laughs> got roped into this. Yeah, but it, it's so funny because John, of course, you know, is a big deal at CNN now so it's so funny to see um, the kids little and kids, May and you know. everybody went into it oh yeah everybody in that little group but I, I actually thing. as corny as that song seems I really like it oh yeah no it's it, it's all about in the simplicity it of it all Aww. it's a great message Look at Elisa says, I can't believe this. She has tears coming you out probably, of her eyes. She's she laughing. probably hasn't seen that since the day. I know. And it's weird because Elisa, he, I haven't seen you in the room before, I don't think. Oh, she's been there before. At, at, and so, but it's a great night for you to stop by. So, you know what? This is like a throwback to the days of Judy and Andy Rooney, Nikki Luongo says. And it's so funny because I think there's some truth to that. I... I, we were watching uh, Mickey Rooney and something on Turner yesterday or the day before, and I was thinking, gosh, he was good, you know? I mean, he, he was so amazing. Oh, that, Mickey Rooney an, is unbelievable. He was so... The, it, I'm not nearly as good. There's my close-up, Mr. DeMille. <laughs> it, this is actually the show that made you say, I do not want to be in front of the camera, right? Yes. Well, it's not that I minded being in front of the camera. It just was what, what you can't see here is what's going on on the other side. Yeah. And that's what I found more interesting. Now, we're at the Disney Ranch, which is a beautiful place, like in Chatsworth, I think it was. And if you see all those animals, there's wranglers that would bring these animals. We've got um, Lauren, the stuntman from mm -hmm. How the West Is One, who's actually driving that wagon. If you look carefully at the shot of my mother yeah. holding the reins, uh, she's actually not driving the wagon. He's laying down under the seat. So take a look at this shot carefully okay the reins go right past her she just has her hands nobody holds reins like that is he behind her he's under the seat under her bench he's laying down under under us and it, just in case that team gets away I yeah mean, you know you, you that's a, well i remember when my horse was being trained to pull wagons remember when Odie was and these are very experienced horses but yeah. nonetheless you can't have a movie star and 10 kids get turned upside down <laughs> in a wagon so they, they put the they put the stunt man in there. So yes. he's got a great job. And now in front of us here, there's a, a tracking vehicle with a big. Fi this is all shot in film. And there's oh, I noticed that. That's incredible. And, yeah. and him being underneath where she is, or right behind her, or inside. It reminds me of the in Night Rider. The kit car. In the kit car, when you would see the car driving by itself, it the the stunt man. And w Jack Gill and, uh, oh my God, we had so many great stuntmen, but J Jack was the stunt coordinator and did all the coordinating of the stunts when um, mm. the show was on for those, those four years. So when you would see Kit driving himself, the stuntman was actually inside of the seat. Yep. He, you know, the, the seat has this little like thing on it. Even it's if the headrest. It has now, a hole the in the headrest. headrest. It's not a hole so much as like a screen. No, there's actually yeah, a spot it, where you, your, your little car, face would stick through and he could look but out. But you, you couldn't see his eyes because it was a dark screen. But the stuntman used to actually get inside of the seat. seat. And drive fast. If you ever notice, those cars come off of a su of a uh, a um, semi. They they whip around. They would do 360s inside of a seat. So that is a uh, that's pretty amazing. But my point is, is that those things to me were more interesting. 
I would have far rather been, you, you know, like the behind with, the scenes. Yeah, stuff. I just, it's not that I minded hanging out with my mom and singing with a little love, but I mean, I can remember when all that was going on, as much as that was somewhat interesting. I remember being locked up in a trailer for half the time, having to do homework, and yeah. you know, and yeah, you know, that just was not exciting. And I'd look out the window and I'd see all this prep work going on, you know, for all those shots you just saw, and uh, you know, I just thought, wow, that, that's re this is really not the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but you know what? It, it, we you get used to it, as you know. Actors get used to w hurry up and waiting and getting our makeup put on. I'm not 10 very, times as you day. well know. I'm not the most patient. <laughs> I can't lay in the sun. I can't. You know, I just don't have that. No, you you kick. don't. I don't no, have the patience but you for that. do have it on Sundays when we have our Sunday t is our day together. I can watch the golf and movies on yeah. Turner Classic Movies. I can sit and do that, but I I can't. It's like laying in the sun. I, I, I like being in the sun, but I just can't lay there. I mean, I've got to play golf or swim or something. Yeah. You know, even when we were in Hawaii last year, two years ago, you know, I mean, that was great. Um, but, you know, like laying in the sun, come on. Oh, I, I, I could have done it. I, I was working on that trip. I, I, I would love to be able to actually. I was stuck in the hotel eating $75 club sandwiches. There's some, <laughs> there's a place in Florida that I want to go and Hopefully this year life will open up a little bit, but it's called Destin, Florida. I'd, I'm from Florida. I never heard of Destin before, but then all my you friends. You want to go to Florida? Do you believe that? You never want to go to Florida. Uh, Last time we were no, in Florida I, together, you were you were saying we we need to drive through the night to cross the border to get out of the state. The Louisiana border is only two hundred no, miles no, ahead. No, no, that's because we were in green cove <laughs> no, for, uh, we were in florida we spent too long. the night in the motorhome in a garage for five nights because the motorhome broke down not in a great part of florida that's no, why we were redoing it remember we were redoing and then the we went to arkansas time? from after louisiana to see emily right yep and and she said i've got such good news for you i got you to be able to park your rv in the national state park you are gonna be all by yourself you're gonna love it there and i thought oh that's pretty cool right it was the summer so we get there and the park ranger puts us and it's where the there's no one there but right. us right so we have this 40 foot motor home that we're in, in I'm, I'm wondering if you're going to remember what i remember oh oh yes so nobody told me then that the national state bird of Arkansas is the mosquito. And every time we open the door it, it, in the park, literally a thousand times, a million mosquitoes would come. And they would not only attack us from going from the RV to the car, but they would get inside the RV. It really. took days. It took days for us to get them out. I got chewed up. But, you know, it was like... But it, it, it's not... I mean, I have, God, actually, I, I've experienced, I, had a great time. I have experienced plenty of mosquito events in my time, but nothing like that. This was something <laughs> out of a freaking Stephen King movie. <laughs> you know, it really was. They were These out to kill First us, of all, the mosquitoes, mosquitoes, they don't travel in small groups. They were so thick that it would, it showed up along the wall as like a blanket of black mosquitoes. Exactly. And even no matter how many you killed, there was millions more to take their place. I mean, it was like the Roman legions. And they, and they marched like Roman legions. Okay, so I'm hearing from a lot of people. First of all, Joe Kamenko says hello to you and me. Hello, so, hi, Joe. Joe. Joe, I sure hope that you got to see my my debut with my mother. <laughs> d d I need to know if he saw that because it's important that... Okay, good, because I think that's some funny stuff. So a lot of people know about Destin, Florida. So I found out about it. The reason I brought up Arkansas is all my friends there call it the Redneck R Riviera. And I'm not being rude. It is truly what the people in the South Why do they call it, call it the Redneck? Because that's where everybody from the South goes to vacation because it's right at the top of Florida, right next to Pensacola-ish, that, that area. But the beaches there are supposed I to be I have to tell you that fantastic. I know this, this may not sound right, but there are... I identify with the, the, the redneck mentality. When I got my oh, farm. Oh, absolutely. When I had my farm. I don't farm, think I know anybody more redneck than you. See, there we have it. I did, when I got my farm, I, when I left Beverly Hills for, mm -hmm. you know, Central Coast, and we got the farm and everything, and, you know, I started to understand what the term even meant. Yes. Because, you know, you'd be farming or digging trenches or working the farm and the land or riding horses or pulling a calf out of a cow. Yeah. 
and uh, sort of get the concept. No, but it's I don't a, really. It's, it's not insulting. It's no, a, and there's, there's it's an amazing and thing. The, and the people that are doing that work deserve enormous you respect. You bet. And so what? As opposed to the people sitting on their duffs in the big city. Yeah. And then the people in the big city are complaining, having no idea how that food gets into those refrigerators <laughs> over there. I remember the first time I, I don't mentioned. Don't even talk to me about that. I, I know what you're going to say. Don't even. How does the cow. Uh, what, no, how does no. This, I, how does I, it get I, in those uh, little packages I, like that? I can't. You know, ah. the, boy, the point is Destin, Florida. Is. If we can go, I'd like to go in May. And here's why. Because Stephanie and Bill want to go. But not only that. I have Hilton. What's there that you're trying I to get Hilton me interested points. in? I have Hilton points. If I don't use, I'm going to lose them. But and what so is it? You Why would you I can care? Golf. What is oh golf? You can. It's beautiful golfing. How do you know? Because I've been told this by many people. By pro really good yes, golfers. Yes, really good golfers. I don't know, John. So Destin, Florida. I would sit on the beach. I'd probably like to do a show there. John, are you in? And then we'll just sit, sit for four or five days, and and you can golf, and I'll sit under a tree and read a book. And, well, and wait a uh, minute, I'm still not hearing like a good description of what this place is. Okay, so if you're saying to me it's, it's the Redneck Riviera, see the Riviera to me is beaches. Yeah. Great food, yep. great entertainment. That's casino. exactly it. That, well, that's Destin has all that. It's got the most beautiful beaches. I naked all this French up. women on the beach. No, no, there's. Are you not sure? That. Yeah, I've never seen anybody. You know, those Parisians don't naked care. on a beach that should have been naked on a beach. I have in Europe. I have, not in, in the Europe, U.S. Yes. But not I, here. No, you're right. I, and I certainly am not a person that should be naked well, on the beach. But I, I'm just saying I certain things say, should remain covered at all costs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. However, just I'm bringing it up, Destin. I, I mean, I'm. I will have to see more. I'm not. And of course, based on this, this, this wimpy dis description. Okay, hold on. I'm not hearing People a good. People that are in Destin, I have heard from a few of them here. Also. But I'm not hearing. I mean, like, like when you're talking. Great golf. Are we talking Augusta, Pebble Destin Beach? Destin is the most beautiful. Susan Sale. We have the most beautiful beaches here. Oh, she's there. Yes. Well, Destin let her tell is us very about pretty. It. Gina Selman. Destin and the Panhandle is beautiful. Judy Lawrence. Destin is so nice. Is it Go near to Tallahassee? Sand Sandiston. I mean, is inland is Tallahassee. Yeah, this is all beach. But here's the thing. It's the top of Florida. But I think it's a really good place to go for a little vacay. You know, like not long, five days. You but know where I, I like to go for a vacation? Where? Uh, in the backyard <laughs> over here. <laughs> Do you want to know something? Right People there. People always ask me why I don't va take a vacation. And I'm like, why would I leave here? But I miss water. And I mean, being in the desert, I do miss water. So That's why we have a big pool. I know, but feet in the sand. I'll bring you I've some been, sand. I've been trying to get we'll sand here some sand. forever. Mm. I'm going to build the, the little pond at some point. We'll have a sandy beach there. All right. Well, I still it'll be go goose to poo and sandy <laughs> beach. <laughs> All right. So while I'm here, I just want to see who's here in the room. And also, I just want to say, you know, today, Philip, your Philip's mom took a fall and she I, I don't know if she needs to have a hip replacement. I'm still waiting to hear from you about that. But it's like, oh, every time. Now, do you notice how when I watch TV now when someone falls or someone's running really fast, I get really, it, you know, like anxious because yeah. after this. Well, you get sympathy uh, pain, too, just I, watching. I just worry, you know. Like and even on TV when there's a fake fall as part of a story. I was watching the stuntman last night, and I and thought, how, how do they feel when they get older? They must be so stiff and sore. I mean, I do not have my, I, I'm here tonight without my sling. I'm just letting my arm be. I, it's kind of useless, but I started uh, physical therapy. This is day two for me, and I really get it now. You've all told me how much it will help, and it really does. I think it helps me up here, and it's kind of uncomfortable when you're doing it, but I feel so much better after. And they said in five weeks, I'm going to be in pretty good shape. So I'm, you know, it's like light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm so excited about that. But Philip, when I heard you, when you said today that your mom took that fall, I just, you know, I, I hope that she does not need to have surgery. But we're thinking about you and her. And let me just say, Debbie Star Jackson, thank you for going on camera and under those c conditions. That is love. And um, I, I, I hope and pray that you will make a full recovery. I claim it right now in the name of Jesus. I'm just going to say it and do it because I want you better. Um, and, uh, you know, everybody that's out there right now um, it, that's got 
health issues, just know that uh, it's your right to be well. And we all we have we, we have proved that we are the prayer warriors. Linda, who's my bestie, is out there tonight. Linda Kornreich, you saw her on the on the um, the reel also, and she's she prays for everybody. So anytime any of you mention something in the thread that where you're going through, just know that that my friend Linda is. She's not just like, um, oh yeah, I'll pray for you. No, I, she stays here a lot when we're not in COVID. She comes, we're together quite a bit. And she's a person that gets on her knees to pray for people. And um, so, you know, just know that you're always being watched by Angel Linda out there who uh, is in Florida. Those so. are the things that we take for granted. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. The, you, you, you don't think know. You, you think maybe you got there God is always safely on your own. Behind you think the scenes. maybe yep. you did that under your own power or wisdom, but maybe there was something more behind it than the meets the eye. Yeah, yep. So, you know, you, everybody just, you know, really stay in a mind of believing in your health and, and seeing yourself well and and uh, back on, you know, on your feet and, and uh, be bigger than whatever it is that's bothering and you. And play back that song on that TV show. I <laughs> exactly. think you will. That's such a, you know, I, I can't think of songs. There aren't that many songs that are really kind of, not only the kind of happy song, but, you know, it's great message within the song. That if you could actually take those words to heart and actually pay it forward and do what the lyrics say. Okay, it's, so it's Philip a, says his mother is having surgery at 7.30 tomorrow morning. It was a clean break. So, uh, Philip, just know that we will all be on it, praying, praying for your mom because that's no fun. But uh, she, she'll, be, she'll be good. She'll come through this, and she'll be just as good as new. Um, so uh, we have Rola and Seth and Linda Gildersleeve, Ferruccio, Jennifer Klatt. How are you? Um, I know a lot of people have been By the way, Ferruccio, did you see the green shirt? Oh, yeah. So Frank has probably seen the movie Bright Lights more as much. There's people out there that watch it a lot. Um, they find comfort in some of that movie and uh, that documentary. And uh, Debbie was wearing that bright green dress that you bought, Blouse. Frank. Yeah. No, actually, it, it, was a, it was a whole down to the floor maxi. Yeah, you weren't. I don't know where you were when we had that, but it was like a real. Uh, when I found it, I was like, woohoo, bright lights. This I is awesome. Uh, yeah, pr I don't. Frank. Is the I proud feel like, owner you know of what? That. I'm cool with it because Frank has it, but I'm not sure I would have broke that one loose if it. Uh, what does this mean? Scott Edmondson said atrial fibrillation here. Yeah, what does that mean? That's a heart irregularity. Okay, so you are on the prayer list there. Be sure of it, Scott. Um, Some of that though can be caused also by panic and fear and other things. I mean, there could be other reasons too, but a lot of people can put themselves into irregular heartbeat by thinking too much. Yes. Um, you know what? It's, it's, uh, it's amazing how many people actually have uh, anxiety. I, I meet every day, you know, people that have acute and severe and mild, uh, whatever it is. Um, and I think you're right. It's, uh, it's really uh, the cause of, of other things that, that happen with us. But um, I was talking to a fantastic young lady. Remember, she was here for the weekend with Letty. And um, she, she's very young, and she's had anxiety since she was a little girl. And after talking to her for a while, I, I, I remember thinking, I hope she comes back because they left today because I, I know I could help her. Anxiety is such a, it's such an interesting thing. And, uh, you know, it's one of the things I feel best about helping people with is, is, is anxiety. Um, that's kind of my wheelhouse. You know, house. another word for it, though, also is just plain old fear. Well, that's what exactly what it is. It's well, fear times a million. But it could be fear. There's a lot of areas that people can live in fear. When I was a little boy around this time, I, we lived in this very big house and we had guard dogs and guard people and um, a lot of people were trying to get at my mother, so to speak. And yep. it had Carrie and I in fear and we couldn't go out of our rooms even at night into the backyard like you couldn't do any of this. And I, I got to the point where I used to be afraid of even the curtains having a crack where yeah, somebody could be looking in. Yes, I think all kids have that when they... Well, maybe. We imagine... 
Well, but when I, yeah. when, and when I moved, first moved away from home, it was a disaster because I, I you know, I, I had that same sort of weird fear. But uh, when I finally got my own place and got away from the celebrity, <laughs> <laughs> it was like, oh, there's nothing to be afraid of. And I just chilled out. Now, also, my faith it, uh, also is a, a very important element of, of uh controlling fear yes because when you realize that there is a larger power in charge of things around you and things that could happen to you and there's a protection out there it's an important understanding to have that consciousness and that takes away that anxiety when you come to understand that it's also you could also say i have no control over those things anyway yep it reminds me of a, a scripture that i always love greater is he that is in within me. me than he who is in the world because that that is so true when people used to say to me all the time oh you know christianity is just a crutch and i feel like yep and i have one under each arm and i am clinging on to the robe with my fingers like this you notice this is as high as that hand goes but let me wave at you with it it's working i just can't get this away from my body <laughs> anyway i just want to before we give stuff away let me just say that that birthday tape, Seth, Barbara, Ryan, Todd, you know, all of you that came up with that, every one of you that participated in that, you have made this, this the, most, the best birthday I ever had. The best, because it's just, the it made me weep because that's what love does to me. It's just with a, a little love. With a little love, it's so great. So I Give thank you, each and every one of you. To everyone you meet. To everyone you meet. You see what I mean? It's yes. freaking hooky. Yeah, You've I'm, heard it once and you already know the lyrics. And you're in it. But I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you getting fussed up, uh, getting on camera, and especially people, I know there are some people up there that don't really like being on camera. Right. I'm not going to point you out. I know who you are, and you were there they anyway. They did it for you. And so I just want you to know how much I appreciate that. And what, and an, you know what? I, I just realized I don't oh. have any mascara on, so I just lived my worst nightmare. I'm doing a show with no mascara. That's okay. I don't you have see? any socks And on. I don't care. Isn't that great? I don't great? have any socks That was on. like a phobia. See? No socks. And you have no socks. I've never seen you without socks on. I just started it out that way, and it was just too much trouble to go back and start over. <laughs> I was looking for mascara, and I thought, well, what's really great ab about me not wearing it right now is that I don't have to worry about crying it off. I've been worrying about looking like a raccoon. And so what if I look like a raccoon? That's, that's the best part about it. I think you look pretty good. Look at the monitor. <laughs> I can't see it from here. I don't have my seeing eye dogs on. Ah, you don't have the... <laughs> but the thank you, thank you so much, everybody. You may, I, I will cherish this. I have it forever. Uh, uh, Patty uh, Hughes, you, you were... You, you makeup, you did a beautiful job. Uh, I, I think all of you, I'm just... I'm going to watch it again and again after we're done with the show and I get back in bed and I just um, <laughs> can't tell you. I mean, like, I want to mention More. all of you, but... No, because I, I cried through the whole thing. It's just incredible. Thank you. Amazing. Now, I, Todd has some new way of giving things away tonight. I, I, I see this great, if John, I don't know if you can get a close-up of this wheel. That is a, a, that is a wheel, uh, a of roulette fortune. wheel. We call it well, a wheel of fortune. But it, it was, it's from the 1800s. So that's pretty cool. And it belonged to Carrie. Yep. It was one of her prized possessions, yep. in fact. She, so we keep prized that's, possessions. That's, and well, and that was in her very first home. Oh. She bought it long ago it's, and thought yeah. it was really cool. There's two sides to it. I flipped it around because the, the, the side that's facing forward has 60 slots. Okay, so let me just see now what Now, unbeknownst to all of you, while this show has been going on, Ryan has been gathering all of your names, those of you that are watching the show. They have been put into a spreadsheet and automatically a number is assigned. To each name. To each name. Yeah. So in order to keep the show under five hours, like in the past, yep. we have come up with the idea that we randomly spin the wheel your number goes with the spreadsheet. Ryan calls out the corresponding number to the name. 
automatically a winner, assuming you're here, but we'll have far less drum roll and waiting for people that aren't here. That's the problem with the, the uh, Tumblr that we've learned is that, you know, say some, Not everybody's here. some percentage. So yeah. you keep drawing people and we all sit there, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, nothing. <laughs> and, uh, and then you're like, okay, moving along. It's like, you know, I mean, I have to say, there's been times where I have just going to heavy anxiety you know, waiting for the winner of that. Oh, item. I know. And I very watch stressful. it and I think, okay. So what I have to do instead is meditate and go to sleep. Okay, so <laughs> Ryan says, you've all been added. So you've all been added. So just so you know, and uh, look at Joshua says, creative, Francine Law. Well, it's, awesome. it's, it's, Heather it's creative. Five it's, hours. Now, by the way, I'm not saying we're all, we still do the trivia thing. I, st I liked in the day, too, when we gave no, it to it's good to So some up. is merit-based, but, but this, this is, is just certainly by luck. This is chance. Chance or luck-based. You know what I love? It's, it's, uh, it's chance and... And, uh, just and you know and what? And we're in Vegas, so it's luck. That, too. Lady but, luck. And, and Carrie's involved. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So there's going to be a crazy element Are you sure that it. it's all functioning? Because I know we had to put a card up there. Well, so in the old days, there was like a piece of leather. Yeah. But I'm using a playing card. Go well, in for the close-up, John. Yeah, it's a really neat... In fact, let me turn this little light on it. I have this light for other purposes. All right, so it's a really neat uh, idea, and I love this idea. Maxine Moody, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you for being on there tonight. Julianne Golden, you were beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Cheryl Conway, I love seeing you two on there. Can everybody see that Tracy okay? Tracy Saunders with her sexy, deep, grovelly voice. Sasha Renee, beautiful. And okay, are you um, ready? Here we go. Debbie Star Jackson's here. So wait, here. do Yay! we want to talk about Jay what they're going to win or we just let the winner and then show them? Okay. Pick so a winner and show them. We, we, uh, you know what? I'm putting, I'm going to get my little John, zoom my close, as close as you can or is that as close as you can go? <laughs> On five, uh, that's camera five. All right. Yeah, so okay. as close, because then you could go up in this neighborhood because this is where the winner is chosen at that point. There you go. Nice. So, Okay. Are you ready? We are ready. So for prize number one, you'll find out what it is when you're, if you hit the spread. Okay, so. Wait, I'm going to give it a bigger spin. We're going to get a here leather we go. strap, but here we go. Five. Number five. Ryan, who is number five? Number five's alive. Hold on. I'm going to go to my text, see what Ryan says. Seth made the video, by the way, Ryan just told me. So yes. Seth. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Barbara you. was the no, Barbara, uh, offensive of coordinator. Course, well, Barbara is, we're kind of like late night buddies because she doesn't sleep at night and I don't sleep at night. Well, so number that's five we is dying to know. Who's number five? Number five. We're waiting for number five. No, Ryan just says. Debbie Carl. Debbie. Debbie Carl. Debbie Carl. Harry Carl's stepchild. No. No. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, no. Debbie Carl. Okay. wins what she, debbie carl you are the wiener of this necklace right here which somebody was wearing tonight but you can wear it short like that or you can wear it long like this this is you, it looks good both ways but that's how i like to wear it because that is cool. isn't that pretty because if you wear it long it makes you look long and lean so that is why i love long jewelry so debbie carr you are the wiener congratulations i think this is an interesting way of doing things i love this actually well it should go quicker okay, okay here we ready? go number, number two wiener number Let's, two winner here we yes. go yes i'll give it a bigger spin you too, Francine. Number Love you back. 15. Number 15. Who is 15. number 15? We're waiting for Ryan to weigh in with us. And here we go. No, it's, 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 it is it's 15. pretty. No, it's, it's if like I turn the right whole thing the to you, you'll see. I'll turn it a little bit. Can okay, you see it okay? We're waiting to hear from Ryan. Hey, Julie, it was great seeing you and Delton tonight. I made me miss you both so much. Mariana. Mariana Matthews? Mariana Matthews. I love your, your uh, you know what? You almost put me under tonight. I was like watching that and hearing your voice. <laughs> Sleep. Okay. Mariana, really? you are the wiener. You have won. 
This is fun. You have won, donated by Frank Farruccio, a $25 gift certificate to Cat Cosmetics. And you have also won, thank you, Frank Farruccio, for donating that $25 gift certificate. Mariana, that's yours. We'll send you the number tonight. And also, you get Frank's movie, Diamonds to Dust, about Jane Mansfield. This is really... That's cool. It is cool. It's a great gift. Congratulations, Mariana. You are wiener number two. This okay. is so Ready fun. for number three. Yes, we are ready. All right, here we go. Ready, everybody? Uh, yep. Uh, Debbie Star Jackson, number 15, come on down. All right. 39. 39. We are waiting 39. to hear who 39, 39 is. 39. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Hello, Cheryl. Is it you? Is it Cheryl Murray, I think? Cheryl Murray has a birthday on Sunday, so I just want to remember that. Cheryl Canning, I'm glad your sister had a great birthday. Um, let's see here. Ryan is, we're waiting. Okay, let me go back. I'll go and see. All righty. You're waiting to find out who 39 is? R Ryan. Beth Hughes. Beth Hughes is who I've got. Beth Hughes, are you ready? And thank you for being on my birthday video tonight, all the way from Seattle. And I look forward to meeting you one day, too. This is your prize. This is actually from my collection. Um, I wear a lot of Indian type jewelry, I guess, uh, because I, I like uh, turquoise and beads and silver. And this is a beautiful silver inlay. Um, it's a sterling silver inlay and it has a, a buffalo head on it. This is, I can't do my hand up any more than this, but like this. And it's a beautiful necklace. And uh, it is yours, Beth Hughes. Congratulations. The next wiener is, do we have any applause for these folks? The next wiener is, this is so great. Oh, the card came flying off, so we have to start again. Okay. I, I, you know, you're a little rough with that. I know. And I, so I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to make some adjustments to this to make it spin but a little I better. But I love this. It's so fair, Ooh, you know? Number three. Number three. Number three is the wiener. Let's see who that is. Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy right now. Thank you all for making me so happy. I just feel so blessed. Thank you. It's all your fault. With the little And love. Seth and Barbara. Number three, too. we're waiting. Hold on, I'm gonna go we'll into my text. Come back to you. Patty Wagner, so otherwise known as Patty Wagon. So <laughs> there, we got our applause. Patty Wagner, I got it. All right, Patty, you have won. You have won also another gift certificate by Frank Ferruccio, donated by Frank Ferruccio, Patty, Patty Wagon. Patty Wagner, you have won a $25 gift certificate from Frank Ferruccio and also a copy of his movie, Diamonds to Dust, made about Jane Mansfield's life. So congratulations. Thank you, Farrucci. There you go, Patty Wagon. You are the wiener. Next. <laughs> I, you haven't complained. I, I'm loving this. 21. 21. Ryan, who's in, in slot number 21. Look at Michael Bollinger. This is a very Vegas way of doing it. So fun. <laughs> you want to know something? It really is. Hey, Lisa, his song. It's good to see you here tonight. Rolla's here. Wendy's here. Oh, gosh. Here we go. The wiener is, let me go to my, let me go to my... I, hear I think something. we'd still be on the first item otherwise. Amy Carr, <laughs> Amy Carr, you are the winner. You are the winner, Amy Carr. Here we go. Where is the prize for Amy Carr here? Oh, Amy, this is pro like one of my favorite pieces. Um, these are one of a kind, the, the last one as well, because it is from my personal collection. So um, there aren't any others. This is made in, uh, at an Indian reservation many, many moons ago, as they say. It's a cross, it's uh, sterling silver, it's inlaid with um, 
beautiful, let me see if I can just turquoise hold it beads. up. Turquoise, no, the turquoise stone is in there and there's other stones. Those are turquoise beads. Th these are, yeah, but the in, inside here. Oh. It's beautiful, it's all inlaid. So congratulations, Amy Carr. You God bless you, I, I'm gonna give me, that back. I could put it up with this. Okay, all right, next. We still have more prizes, right? Yay! This is so fun. All right. Good, Amy. I'm glad two. you love it. Number two. Number two, sir. Number two. Now, how many numbers are on there? 60. But the way he's doing it, if, since there's more than 60 people, yeah. he's got, we're alternating through two lists of 60. Oh, okay. So it's fair. All right. So number two. And the wiener is uh, Wendy Bartlett. Bartlett. Congratulations. Congratulations, Wendy. All righty. So, Wendy Bartlett, you have won a $25 gift certificate to catcosmetics.com. And you have been to our website before, so you know how to get there. We'll send you the number to this. And this is donated by one of the girls in the room who wishes to remain anonymous. And she is a great lady. Uh, I've never met her, but we, I feel like I know everybody. When I actually meet you, I'm, it's going to be amazing. That's all I've got to say. For me, it's going to be so great. So Wendy Bartlett, congratulations. You have won a $25 gift certificate to catcosmetics.com to get whatever you wish. Remember, we're having a 30% off sale right now for Valentine's Day and it will end Sunday at midnight so go go get stuff if you need it so here we go huh next number seven the we seventh wiener <laughs> all right 35 35 35 who have we got there let's see here 35 um Oh, Laura, Laura Terrell, it was so great to see you and your daughter tonight. Thank you so much. I'm looking at you here. Um, Aubrey Thurber, where are you, girl? It's good to see you. I'm so happy to see your name in here. Fantastic. Okay, the wiener of number, oh, is this it? Yes, Linda Gildersleeve. Linda Gildersleeve, you are about to win something. This, it, this will debut, uh, y if you get emails from Cat Cosmetics tomorrow, uh, not, is it tomorrow? Yeah, if you get, uh, if you sign up for my emails at catcosmetics.com, you'll always know when new things come out. You'll always know when we have a sale. This gets le unleashed tonight, right after the show. Uh, it is a new product, Linda Gildersleeve, that you have won. Let me see how pretty this cream is. First of all, it's a microdermabrasion cream. So this is a very serious skin care product. Uh, you only need to use it once a week uh, if you have, you know, really uh, problematic dead skin. You know, our, what, the reason we have bad makeup days is because our skin cells like die every day. So that's why exfoliating is really important because it makes your skin really smooth and, um, and it just makes your makeup go on better, makes your skin glow and all that. So this is Microdermabrasion Cream. It is brand new. It'll launch tonight. Uh, so tomorrow it'll be on because we're having this 30% off sale. But you're the first person to get a jar of it. You have just won it. It is amazing. It's very wonderfully intense, meaning it's got little crystals in it. Is it there is, a sale going on right now? There is a sale going on right now. It's love oh, 30 is that. the love 30 is the code. code. But the microdermabrasion cream, this has little crystals in it. And when you put that and just really rub it on your skin, wow, you are going to get every dead skin cell off your skin and your skin is going to glow and you put on uh, some moisturizer after that. So once a week ought to do it. Uh, and there it is, microdermabrasion cream. One more. One more spin. Here we go. I'm so excited. What'd we get? Well, it's a leaner. It's a leaner. Six. Hey, Jan Denault. Oh, oh, yep. Oh, okay. Hi, Sarah. 
Uh, Sarah's in. Okay, Elisa Tomasino. I miss you, beautiful redhead. Microdermabrasion, yes. Uh, you know what? The microdermabrasion, if you go to get something like that done at a... Um, at a spa or a facialist, it's it, very expensive. So this is as good as that. Julie, Julie Golden, you are the winner. Oh, what a golden. Oh, you are. Okay, there you go. You are the winner of a pair of swingers earrings. These are my favorite. Um, they're beautiful and you will be beautiful in them and they will be beautiful on you so you have won the swingers uh julie golden and i'm so happy for you so those are tonight's to winners it is wonderful and true it is wonderful and true all the everyone love you give away, all the love you give away. We'll see come, back come back to you. To you. We'll That's soon true. Come back to, you. to me. All right. Good so thing. what I want to do, we'll, we'll play that. We can play that again uh, when we leave, which will be in a few minutes. But what I want uh, to tell everybody is um, uh, just remember the power of love. Uh, you know, always is, it's an incredible power and energy. And um, I can tell you that, um, I, you know, over these last weeks, I've had some trying feelings and, and, uh, I, and I, I think um, the love is what has pulled me through some moments where I just, my mind would just go somewhere because laying in bed for that many weeks is not really in my wheelhouse, but I did it and I continue to do it. And uh, you guys have gotten me through it. Um, and and it, if, just in case you don't know how very loved you are all the time, are, have been, will always be, will never be alone and how much I appreciate this little family that we have. It's getting bigger and bigger. You know, like we, we when, by the time we get off, we have hundreds of views. And by tomorrow, it, it jumps into over, sometimes into the thousands. And so, you know, we're so grateful for this time because all we're here to do is love each other and to be good to each other, support each other, cheer each other on you know to the not to the finish line but to the beginning and the journey and 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 finally the good and and and, and you guys have done all that for me and more ryan i also just want to say that uh, i loved what you said to me on my birthday message you have been an amazing friend to me for 15 years it seems like way more and i think actually it is but uh, all the times that you helped me at the homeless shelter for the kids and um, pitched in, I, you know, that was a big thing I bit off and you always helped me get through that beautiful Christmas party we had every year. And you were there to give the speech for my ca the Catherine Hickland room, which they named it after me in that shelter. And, um, and you have been a loyal, true blue friend. You have been the vault and I appreciate you so much. And what about an update on your Broadway uh, show from yesterday? Okay, so the Broadway show, before we go, we are going to, Ryan, when are we going to draw the names? I know today was the last day for people to be able to enter the, the you know, they donated to the Broadway Cares ABC Daytime uh, event. John donated, I watched him. John donated last night, huh? The next show. Next okay. show, you have the winners. We'll have the winners for the next show. So we're, we have you in a special drawing, and so that that will well, be. Is it a drawing or is it just? It you is won? a drawing. People okay. who. But oh, that know. gets you in the drawing. Okay, I remember. And the really cool thing is. It's been so long is, since we talked about is this. Is that um, we had a lot of people donate, but not so many that I mean, it's going to be a really fun drawing because. There aren't yeah, you got a good chance. We, you have a good chance, yeah. We have some fun stuff. So we'll do that Does in the Ryan next show. Does Ryan know how many people we have, roughly? How many people do we have? Does Ryan know? Yeah, for and the, uh, also roughly. If, no, just no. Roughly. I was just trying to, I was curious how many people. She, she doesn't know yet, but, but Ryan knows. So he, now, here's the thing. Um, if you didn't see the concert, it's replaying. Uh... 
I think what I'll do is go ahead and post a link to it, or Ryan can post a link to it on, as well. So you just can go to the uh, YouTube link that we put there, for, which is uh, the Broadway Cares YouTube channel. So if you didn't see the concert, it's playing for the next few days. Tomorrow night, I know that they're taking names uh, and donations right now to speak with the stars at the, of last night's show. And I'm on that list. And so tomorrow night, that's what I'll be doing. And if you didn't see the show, you should see the show because you get to see this little one sing her butt off Aww. and do a beautiful job of a three-part harmony. Thank you. And also do like a big spender kind of number with the girls. Oh, no, that the cell block tango cell is... Cell block first tango. First of all, I came very close to doing that show on Broadway. And one of the things that scared me about it was the dancing, of course. <laughs> Because so last night I was like, oh, I didn't fall off the stage. This is really good. You looked I'm like, like Philip, you knew what you were doing. I am. Uh, well, I have to work really hard anytime there's dance moves involved. And I'm hoping we can find that outfit because I'd like to see that baby out again. You know, I got to tell you, that I, was a hot little number, wasn't it, it, John? It was. It was a hot little outfit, and uh, I I have no idea where it is, but I have a picture of me. Believe and me, if it can you. be found, I will find it. <laughs> 17 people. So see, you all have... Huge chance. A huge well, but chance. You also, uh, but also, people that are watching now have still have a chance to donate to the Broadway yep. site. So if you and go that to Broadway Cares... What, what, first of all... Uh, Broadwaycares.org slash ABC Daytime. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we're doing a private giveaway of the Star Wars envelope set. We are. That's... It's one of the big prizes. One of the big prizes yeah. as part of it. But we are doing our own giveaway for people to donate to the Broadway uh, cause. Right. So uh, for those of you who didn't do it, um, uh, please do it because there's so many people out of work right now. Uh, and it's an industry that, uh, you know, I mean, obviously actors live a, a life of, of the shifting sands of, of shows. But at the well, same Broadway time. Well, Broadway actors, w when you think about, I mean, I will tell you that when I did Broadway, I was surprised at, I because I was used to making television money, which is good money, you know, so I was used to that, and when I was doing shows on Broadway, I remember thinking, wow, these people are underpaid <laughs> because they have a lifetime of dance training, vocal training. I mean, voice lessons are expensive. I, I took them many times a week and I remember thinking wow this is not only a commitment but to but have that be your whole life and then the next day just and, and because then, of and this so pandemic it's not like they made work. a ton of money to begin with and they are the greatest performers and they live in the most expensive have. city in the world and they live in yeah and and but it's also not just in New York City it's actors all over the United States you know like oh that, for sure I would but I would I'm just yeah theater yeah the theater crowd exactly and but so my mother was very much a part of this I grew up around this part of the business and in fact right after this show we all moved to New York but yeah. I mean I I'm a uh, I'm a big fan of the art form it's a beautiful art form and it, it's nothing like live performing it is something that needs to be preserved in our society regardless of uh -huh. the times that we live in uh, movies are great you know I love that I love TV that's all great but you know when you get to see somebody sing their ass off on stage or dance their alpha ass off on stage when you see a big group of people dancing in perfect unity uh, beautifully choreographed there's a magic that only that can yeah. can produce well i love theater because i call it falling in love in the dark because no matter what anyone is doing when you are in this your seat in the dark and they are on that stage in the light and they're doing something so unbelievable whether it's dance whether it's singing, acting, whatever someone is doing, it it their job is to make you fall in love in the dark. It's what I call it. Where you're in the, your seat going, oh, I love this. But also doing you know, the same show over and over and over and over and over. And over. That, you know, that takes a certain kind of a person it does, to. But it's, you're not doing it for that. You're I doing never it found that to be a hard thing. My mother used to say it this way. She says, it's not the same show over and over exactly. and over. Exactly. And they would be like, well, how do you figure that? Was it because the audience is different every night? And you get such an energy off of the audience. Uh, also, one thing every performer, live performer will tell you is that if there's one bad energy in the audience, you will find it <laughs> when you're on stage. It's, that's how I really came to believe in energy of love and the powerful energy, a negative energy of, of um, 
well, the opposite of love, you know? Right. So, uh, you know, it's so funny because I, I know if any of you have ever been on a stage, you, you absolutely feel the negative, that one negative piece of energy out there. And for some reason, your, your face, your eyes always go to them and you're like, get out of my audience because <laughs> they're, they're not wishing you well. And, but, you, but, the, but the power of the people that are there to, you know. Feed you. Feed you, yes, it's absolutely amazing. So thank you for everybody for, um, for uh, watching the, the concert. You don't have to pay to watch it. So if you want to see it and you missed it, go ahead and uh, I'll, after this is over, I'm going to go ahead and put a, a uh, direct link on my Facebook page. You should see it. It's really fun. And just thanks for the best night. Thank you, honey. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Seth. And thank you for every single one of you that participated in that surprise for me. It was great. We're going to play a little something from... Uh, we'll keep playing. We're going to keep playing the, the Debbie clip if you missed it in the beginning while you say goodnight to each other. And uh, we will see you soon. Thank you. All the love you give away. All the love you give away. We'll soon come back to you. Turn the golden key, just give away some love this day. I know what a secret golden world you see. Give a little love, give a little love, give a little love. Happy birthday, Kat. I hope you have the best birthday ever. And as my best friend and I do every year for our birthdays, I'm going to sing to you a la Bill Murray when he was on Saturday Night Live and sang to a dollar bill. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, father of our country, or in this case, Kat. Happy birthday to you. Go on, get out of here. I love you. And I do love you, Kat. I am so thankful we met all those years ago at Super Soap Weekend and then at the One Life to Live luncheons. But I really got to know you at Get Your Fire Back. What a fun time that was. Thank you so much for that. I hope I can see you again soon. It's been three years almost since I've seen you. We went to see Michael Jackson 1 for your birthday. And then I also met Davy Johnstone, Elton John's guitarist, that same weekend. So you have a wonderful weekend, and someone here also wants to say happy birthday to you. Say it, Skippy. Oh, happy birthday, Cat. Happy birthday, Cat. Love you so much. Thank you so that you've done for all of us, and have a great day. Hi, Cat. It's Barb Cavern. I just wanted to say happy birthday, and thank you for helping me with my anxiety issues and sleep issues, and just say I love you. 
again, happy birthday. Bye. Bye.
Kat. We love you. This is Laura Terrell and my daughter, Rebecca Terrell from Putnam, Connecticut. I hope your birthday is the most amazing, beautiful, and blessed day you ever could have. We love you, and I just praying nothing but the best for you. And I am so glad you're doing so much better. Bye. Hi, Kat. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. Me and Kit here coming out saying happy birthday at the Hollywood Museum here in Las Vegas. Enjoy your birthday. Hi, Kat. I just wanted to say happy birthday. I hope you have the best day ever. I wanted to thank you for all that you are and all that you do for everybody. You are, you are amazing. I love you. Happy birthday. Hello, Kat. It's Sasha. Здравствуйте. С днем рождения, красотка. Я желаю успеха и радости. Your translation. Happy birthday, and I wish you uh, success and joy, and I hope you have a great birthday. And we'll see you when we see you on Facebook Live. Kat, as my birthday greeting to you, I'd like to say an excerpt from a poem by Jane Eyres, and it's an ode to those of us who were born in the 1940s or the 1950s. They'll never know the things we did before we got this old. There wasn't any Facebook, so not everything was told. We may seem like sweet older ladies who would never be uncouth, but we were raised in the 60s. Not everyone knows the truth. There was sex and drugs and rock and roll, the pill and miniskirts. We drank, we smoked, we partied and we were outrageous flirts. Then we settled down, got married and our lives were full. But never underestimate a girl in her 60s because she will take no bull. Kat, wishing you a very, very happy 65th birthday to the most beautiful and the youngest 65-year-old I know. Love you heaps. Bye. Hi, Kat. It's Bill. I'm here with my girl. We just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Um, we hope you're feeling good. We know you've had a rough couple of weeks. Um, but we just want you to know that we love you, we are praying for you, and we are sure you're being treated like the queen that you are at the Fisher Compound. Um, so yeah, so we just uh, wish you all the best and we hope you're having a wonderful day. Do you want to say happy birthday to Kat? No? No? I'm so sorry, Kat. She's not like her father. She's not very photogenic. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Kat, from Tammy Anastasia. I just wanted to say, you have made such a difference in my life this year, and I cannot thank you enough for being amazing. <laughs> you are so genuine, loving, caring, kind, beautiful, smart, talented, generous, funny. I mean, the list just goes on and on. I am eternally grateful and so thankful that I've gotten to know you this year. You've just made such a difference with creating the Facebook group and having a safe space for so many people to gather and look forward to talking to you and Todd. We just loved being with you and spending time and needing that this year of all years. But I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart and wish you the most amazing birthday because you deserve it more than anyone. You are truly an angel on earth. I've said that long before I knew that your home was called heaven on earth <laughs> because I said it's appropriate that you are an angel on earth and I can't say enough about how much I love you and I thank you and wish you the most wonderful birthday. Hi, Kat. It's Hi. Delton and Julie Gingrich from Florida here to wish you a very happy birthday. Yes. Um, first of all, we just want to say how much we have enjoyed the Cat and Todd live shows during coronavirus. Thank yes, you for have. spending all that time with us. It was like yes. a highlight for us in the evenings to listen to you guys talk about different, different subjects and stuff. We love that. And I just want to also say um, thank you so much for being the light in this world. You're, you just are so generous and loving and full of joy and always so upbeat and that really inspires me to want to be a better person and yeah. i thank you for that 
And yes. if I ever get back, if we ever get back to Vegas, we're definitely looking you up. So yep, um, hope sure. that happens someday soon. And hope you have the best birthday ever. We yes. love you and yes. can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Hi, Kat. This is your friend, Tammy Wilson. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday on the 11th. And I want to sing you happy birthday in true Carrie Fisher form. Happy and many more. Now you know why I was never a famous singer. Anyway, I also wanted to let you know that I'm wearing my swingers in your honor and all my cat cosmetics. So again, happy birthday and we'll be seeing you soon. Hello, Catherine. It's Lisa Eaton. I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Thanks to you and Todd for bringing us all together, letting me meet all these wonderful people, all your support, your encouragement, your la laughing, and your incredible generosity. You deserve every accolade coming your way. People like you are such a blessing that only comes once in a lifetime. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day. And on that note, I will say, Hi. Hey, Kat. So, Debbie Jackson here. I really didn't think that I would send you a video like this. But I've got FOMO and I did not want to miss your birthday. I can't believe they got Broadway Cares on your birthday. That is so phenomenal. And you're singing on it. And hopefully I won't be too sick, so I'll be able to tune in. If not, I'm sure I'll be able to watch it after. But I like live stuff. Anyway, I can't talk very much with the pneumonia and the COVID and the bacterial lung infection. And I look God awful. But I want you to know, lady, between you and my mother, they're the only people that I would do this for because I know that you're not the only one going to see it. So, but here goes. I love you, Kat, so much. You, I love to see you smile. I love to hear Todd saying yo ho. I love all our family. I miss everything and everybody. I'm so sorry about your fall. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to get out of here. <sighs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cat. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Okay, then we got to do happy, no, hippie, hippo, <laughs> hippo, happy, hippie, birthday. That's not right, but that's just what my mind is coming up with. And I'm going to end it off with I love you, sweet woman, so much. And I can't wait till I can come and give you a big, huge hug. You and Todd, Adora, Ryan, Brianna, John. I just can't wait till I can do that at the lodge. And I'm hoping it won't be too long from now. God bless you, my dear, dear sister. Try to stay as safe as you can. Try to be as healthy as you can. And God forbid, whatever you do, do not get this COVID-19. I love you. Hello, Kat. Surprise. Happy birthday. This is Julie Golden. And um, I want to wish you a very healthy and happy birthday and many more to come. Um, today's a big day for you. And I wanted to say that you've come a long way in recovering. And I 
wanted to let you know that I hope that um, that you that you stay well and I hope that I want you to know that we all all will be here for you to support you in any way we can and we just want you to know that we'll keep praying for you until you completely heal and um i just and oh i would love to meet you in person so very much and i hope that dream will come true one day and i hope um i hope all your wishes and dreams keep coming true and may god bless you i love you so very much and Happy birthday and many more to come. Bye-bye. Hey, Kat. Wanted to wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. I hope you're having an amazing day and just feeling the love from all of us out here to you. Um, and wanted to say thank you so, so much for opening up and having those lives for all of us to...